Simplify. Write the answer with only positive exponents. Assume that all variables represent non-zero real numbers. Here we have the expression uh, where we have a quantity, 4p squared over q to the fourth, all raised to the third power, times 6p to the eighth over q to the negative eighth, all raised to the negative two power. Let's start by taking care of these outer exponents first, applying them to each of our quantities inside the parentheses. Here we go. With this first grouping, we're going to have 4 to the third times p to the second raised to the third power to a power multiply. So that's a p to the sixth over q to the 4 times 3 or 12th times with our second major factor here, applying that negative 2 to each piece inside. We have a 6 to the negative 2 times p to the multiplying negative 16th over q to the positive 16th. In this next step, let's bring our uh, number terms out front. Okay, so leave the 4 to the 3rd where it is. But let's bring this 6 to the negative 2 out into the front. And also, let's take that down into the denominator. Taking care of that negative exponent brings that value across the fraction bar and changes the sign of that exponent to a positive 2. So we've taken care of both of those. Let's also use our product rule as we multiply these like bases, add your exponents. So in the numerator, we'll have p to the 6 plus a negative 16 is a negative 10. In the denominator, q to the 12th times q to the 16th. Adding exponents, that's q to the 28th. Now at this point, this p to the negative 10 is going to cross that fraction bar. We'll change the sign of the exponent as we do that. Let's write 4 to the third in its evaluated form as 64. 6 squared is 36. That p to the tenth is going to come down into the denominator. Notice that's a positive tenth times q to the 28th. And things are looking really good at this point. We've got one last thing to do. Uh, let's cancel our common factor of 4 out of the 64 and 36. 4 goes into 64 16 times, into 36 9 times. Let's just rewrite p to the 10th and q to the 28th. So in simplified form, we have 16 over 9 times p to the 10th times q to the 28th. 